Here's a really easy little project for you plain air painters. Make your own viewfinder. They're very inexpensive and you can probably do it in under an hour. And you'll find this to be extremely useful for cropping your, your sketches or for just plain air uh, viewing your plain air subjects. Just so you know, I did investigate the viewfinders for you plain air painters. And these you can find on Amazon. And they're good. They're not cheap and they're definitely not frugal. But if this is the way you want to go, by all means do it. Anyway, let's get on with this video. Okay, to start to make a viewfinder, I actually just got a pencil, a black piece of uh, uh, Bristol board. This one happens to be orange on one side. And anyway, so I take that and a nice straight edge and I draw from corner to corner. Just make a mark in the center here, like so. And then do the other corner to corner. All we're doing is finding the center of this thing without measuring. So there it is. Now I have this handy dandy device, which is just a roller. I don't know if you can still get them or not. But if you have a little T square or something. But anyway, oh, I want to go and square it up to the edge of that and pull it down to the center and draw a line right across. And I'll do the same thing for the uh, for the width and come across like so. Now I've established the center. I want to make this essentially three by five. One, two, three, four. Three by four, I guess. So should make it a half decent size. So I'll make it eight inches on the long side, and I'll make a mark and another mark. And cut that in half, two and six. That gives me that. Okay? Then we go the other way. Remember I said three. Uh, three by four, so I want to make this six. So the center, I put the three-inch device on the uh, on the center line that I draw in there, and I make a mark, six, and I also divide the the three in half, the six. Let's see, we'll make that two to make this three, and make that four. So there we go. Now I could draw a bunch of lines on this. So what I'm going to do is line my little handy device up. It's got rollers on it, by the way. Cool device. I don't know if you can still get them or not. If you have a T-square and a set square, you could do this quite easily as well. So I'm going to go up to my first mark and just draw a line across. Go down to my second mark and just draw where I missed it. a line across. And so on. And we get down to that one. Turn it around and do the same thing this way. So we go right up to the end here to make sure it's lined up properly. It wasn't. It doesn't matter if it's perfectly square. And we go that way. And that way. And right out of room for the, for the, for the device here. So where is it? We go back to the center here. Find that line, make sure it's lined up, it wasn't, go back and line it out. Okay, having done that, I went and then, with a white gel pen, drew all of those lines in. And I also cut them in half with little marks, like so, and you'll see why. Alright, so, now, what I need to do is to slide this into... If I can find the thing. Ah, there we go. Slide it into one of those uh, uh, sheet protectors that's three ring punch. That'll come in handy because you can store it in a three ring binder. Back at it. So I take this after I've drawn all the white lines on it and slide it into one of these sheet protectors. There you go. Now it fits. I just slide it in. Now this. It's fairly simple. So I'm just going to take um, my ruler, and actually I'm going to get a fatter pen somewhere in here. This one, I think. Try it out. Yeah. And I'm going to draw little marks right here. Like so. And I'll draw this one right through. 
I'm going to draw these little marks. Like so. And draw this one right through. I'm not going to draw the edge lines here. I'm just going to draw the inter inter internal lines. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay. So we turn around and do the same thing. I won't draw that line because I don't need to. But I will draw this one. The little marks here. Like so. And that one goes right through. And I missed this one. We've got these here, here, and here. Straight through. Miss that one. One there, there, here, and here. And straight through. Oh, running out of room again, so we'll do this again. Straight through. And then a little bit of a mark there. Barton missed that one again. Missed that whole row, actually. And there we go. And put this one in. Okay, that being done, I can now take this out of this and get my copy up here. Just be real careful with knives, okay? So now I need a steel ruler because I'm going to cut up my plastic one and a half decent knife, which this should do. And we'll just cut the center out of this thing. Move this out of here. I'm going to cut this again with a sharp a bit. There we go. That's better. Just the outside lines. That's all we're going to cut. Be very careful. I disavow any injuries that you guys get. All right. So here we go. So, and like so. Throw that away. Now, slide this back in, and you now have a viewfinder. Let's see if this lines up. We might have got it in. There you go. Nice viewfinder. Save yourself some money. Anyway, have a great day. One of the things you might consider is getting yourself, you can't probably see this too well, but a transparent clipboard. Then you can just clip it on, like so. And that's a little stiffer. Now, for those of you who have got a bit more money to play with, you could possibly just take this, tape it onto the back, transparent clipboard, and just put this on here, and square it up a bit, like so, turn it over, and then just repeat the thing with your Sharpie. And I'll just take a ruler, and this time I will draw the edges. Actually, that's not square. Let's see if we can get it squared up a bit. I don't want it wonky to start with. Yeah. Square it up. Just a bit. There we go. It was out just a bit. Back. Okay. Now you know exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to draw a line this way. Couple this way. Anyway, you get the idea of what I'm going to do here. I'll finish this up, but quite honestly. And I did. There you go. Pretty difficult to see, so I shall you can see it now, right? There you go, like so. Now the neat part of this, quite honestly. So you have a little bit of black card. 
you could cover it, you know, so you get a square, um, like so. You can even get a, you know, there's square that way. These are all square, but we could go this way or this way. So you could use this to sight line or this. This is sturdier, obviously, and quite honestly, I like it. Anyway, that's a simple way to make a viewfinder. One with a black uh, Bristol board and a, and a sleeve protector, a paper protector and a sleeve, or if you've got a little bit of bucks to spend, how about a, uh, a transparent uh, clipboard? Anyway, so ends the whole silly idea, well actually the cheap idea, the frugal idea of putting together a viewfinder. Having made your, your card, your, your sleeve with your card in it that has the, the lines on it, this becomes very useful because now you've got a big rectangle, right? But if I cut a, a small piece of card, a uh, black card, I can actually, if I do this here, slide this in like so. And now I've got a square, like so. Or I've got a, a essentially a, 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 a four by, by six. Uh, which is essentially the, uh, the golden mean sort of thing. It's a, if you, it, it's really a, th a, a three, I don't know, four by six, uh, uh, a two by three format, which is the same format as a 35 millimeter slide. Anyway, this absolutely slides in and out. And so that's a, it makes it a little bit more useful. And you just tuck it in and put it in your, in your, uh, your case somewhere. Anyway, I find this really kind of cool, all right? You can make different sizes as well, quite honestly, if you've got really long three ones, big ones, bigger squares, Actually, that's a big square. There you go. Anyway, very useful. Having made this view chart or viewfinder, and it could be used outside to uh, look at landscapes. It can be used inside for um, having a look at, uh, at still life. Uh, I did another video on uh, the smart way of doing thumbnails. So this could also work with that, right? So we could put that down on top of your thumbnail and uh, actually move it around and get an idea of just how you want to paint it. So here's another use for this particular viewfinder. A very, very handy tool. Have a great day and keep on sketching. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe, I'd enjoy that. Thumbs up would be appreciated. By all means, hit the bell and be notified of new marker videos. By the way, comments are always welcome. Have a great day. Keep on sketching and be safe.